Hello everyone, it's Megan from KenHub here, and welcome to our tutorial on the optic nerve. During this tutorial, we'll go over all of the structures seen in this image, which are involved in the visual pathway. This image here is a superior transverse section of the brain, and we can see structures such as the globe of the eye, the optic nerve, and the optic chiasm here. The visual pathway transmits information interpreted from visual light from the eyes to the visual cortex in the brain. At the end of this tutorial, we'll go over some clinical notes relevant to the optic nerve and the visual pathway. But before we have a look at those structures, let me first give you a bit of an overview of the main visual pathway. The visual pathway begins with light entering the ocular bulb and being processed by the retina. Information is then passed on from the retina by the optic nerve, which travels to the optic chiasm. From the optic chiasm, the axons are now called the optic tract. The axons then synapse at the lateral geniculate nucleus. Axons from the lateral geniculate nucleus travel via the optic radiation to finally reach the visual cortex. It is important to note that only 90% of the retinal axons synapse directly at the lateral geniculate nucleus. The other 10% project to other subcortical nuclei, mainly the superior colliculus. We will have a look at the superior colliculus later on, but first let's look at the main pathway in more detail. The first structure we're going to look at is the ocular bulbs. The ocular bulbs, or globe of the eye, is considered to be the eyeball without any structures within it, such as the lens or the pupil. The ocular bulb consists of a wall enclosing a cavity of fluid. The wall has three layers, the sclera, the choroid, and the retina. In this image, these coloured areas in front of the ocular bulbs can be referred to as the visual field. The blue part can be considered the left visual field and the red part the right visual field. The retina can also be divided into two, with the lateral part closest to the temples, called the temporal retina, and the medial part closest to the nose, called the nasal retina. So now let's have a look at which side of the visual field will travel to which part of the retina. Let's start with the left eye. Light from the left visual field will travel to the nasal retina, and light from the right visual field will travel to the temporal retina. Now looking at the right eye, we can see that light from the left visual field travels to the temporal retina, and light from the right visual field travels to the nasal retina. The retina then processes this information into action potentials, which then travel down axons to the brain. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and Master Anatomy.